So this is Sheila here. Sheila actually did ride through the auction when we got her back in January, I believe January. Yeah. Um, so when we got her back here, I did my um, training evaluation on her and there were still a couple things I wanted her to learn before we got her back on her saddle. And she has been doing really well. So I'm gonna throw the saddle on real quick. I'm gonna do a couple things that I would normally do with a horse if I threw a saddle on it for the first time. And then David is gonna come in and hop on. And I'm gonna have her lead rope while he is doing that. Um, he's just gonna start with fake ons on both sides. And if she checks out and she's doing good, I'm gonna have him throw a leg over and we're gonna see how she does. Okay. Are you ready? Because I'm going to put this up on your back. Okay. Hey Angela, I'm actually going to pull the cinch up to make sure it's at a good length and right now this is way too long so I'm going to go ahead and just drop that back down and I'll come back over to the other side and I'll adjust it. Um, she's actually not doing too bad, but she's still acting like she's really unsure of the saddle itself. So we might not put you on today. I'm just going to test her out, see how she does. But we'll know in a second if we're going to put you on. At least to ride. I might have you come in to do those fake ons like we talked about. Just to see how she does. And we'll do those fake ons until she actually is okay with it. Okay. I'm gonna teach you how to start a horse, David. Kinda. You might have a reaction. I wanna make sure that it's actually tight. So if she does decide that she wants to buck, it doesn't come off. If you have a horse and you saddle it up for the first time, and you don't have that cinch tight and it takes off and starts bucking and that saddle rolls underneath of it, it's going to make it a lot harder to saddle it up in the future. So you want to make sure that you get it nice and tight. That way it does not roll underneath of her. It'll uh, still be somewhat of a pleasant experience, even if it feels weird. It'll be a lot better than it rolling underneath of her. And, having her freaking out from that because once it rolls underneath there and they start bucking around they will not stop bucking until that saddle is not underneath of them anymore they will destroy that saddle before they quit bucking so i'm going to walk her a couple steps hump on your back like she's thinking about bucking i don't know if you could see that behind the saddle there the back of that saddle's off her back pretty far. So I could tell she's thinking about it. So yeah, David, we not, we, we're probably not gonna put you up there today. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn her loose. I do this with all the horses that I'm starting or if they haven't had a saddle on. Uh, as far as I know, she's only had 10 rides on her. So I'm going to treat, I'm going to pretty much treat this as a start or a restart.
There it is. Saddle tight. If it wasn't tight, it would have already rolled. And once she settles down, that's great. I'll get her caught and I'll take the saddle off. So right there, she pretty much acted like she's never had a saddle on her back before. I know she has because I saw her ride through auction, but these are things that we need to figure out before we just throw someone up there. What do you think, David? You can ride that out? <laughs> so I want to make sure that she goes the other way too. Try not to pet her until we're done. So I'm going to send her back off this way. And I want her to get into that lope again. Especially since we changed directions. We'll let her come back down and settle. I want her to change directions into me as well. So I'm pretty much just having her go until she wants to turn into me. She keeps turning her butt away from me. So as soon as she turns towards me, I'm going to take all the pressure off. Good girl. What do you think? I want her to go until she can turn into me on the other's eye. Good girl. Good girl. So we are gonna have to do a little bit more work to get her more comfortable with the saddle. Um, she hasn't had one on since 
I think actually the training evaluation I originally did on her, I put a saddle on her, but she didn't do that. So it's been, it's been about a month. Um, and I did have that little black synthetic one on. So this is a different feel and it has a back cinch on it, which might explain why she was bucking. But we're gonna have to keep building on that. Um, I won't put David through getting on her today. Um, but tomorrow when I pull her out, maybe we'll do the same thing, throw the saddle up on there and uh, I'll have David come over and do some fake ons with her just to get her used to a little bit of weight in the stirrup on both sides. And the uh, purpose of the fake ons is so you're not just hopping on and having to sit on that while it's bucking. You can actually get out of there pretty quick if she decides that she's gonna start bucking, but it'll help get her used to some weight in the stirrups. But now that I got her caught, I'm gonna go ahead and take the saddle off and put her up. She heard grain. She's like and chewing. All right. 